for you to change certain issues or certain things that are happening. Sometimes you have to seize those opportunities as they happen. If something, if something happens and you feel that it's safe to engage more, then engage them. Engage because I wouldn't expect the same police officers that you experience that kind of behavior from to treat the next person the same way. You see, but I, I know that uh, some of us have given up in the system how you know the you know the, how we receive services, but we are able to change things slowly, 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 slowly. And in fact, um, I, I I couldn't sleep at three o'clock in the morning, and I was think I was just thinking about how, how do you sensitize beyond these rooms, and I ended up texting her like in the early hours of the morning, say, look, I have got this crazy idea for you. But again, to say we need to find ways to sensitize people outside this room. Mm -hmm. Because if you are in this room and we are okay with each other in this room like this, but we've got a problem out there. We've got a problem that we need to deal with. The question is, how do we deal with it? How do we raise awareness enough to make sure that we end stigma and discrimination? And how does stigma, how does discrimination lead to violence? Um, so what is violence first? It's defined as maintaining, achieving, and asserting power and control over others. It includes acts of threats that cause physical, mental, sexual harm, or suffering, cohesion, and other deprivations of liberty. Limiting or denying a person's rights and freedoms, it actually could also fall under violence. Because if your rights are denied, okay, you make sure before I go there, if somebody is stigmatizing against you, they push you sometimes. They push you, and then what do you do? You fight back. How do you fight back or retaliate? You must also think about your own safety, because you might retaliate and then they shoot you. You might retaliate and then something else happens. So let's think about how we are able to resolve you know, experiences of stigma and discrimination peacefully. With a big punch, um, it's a violation. Violence also violates other rights, such as the right to be treated with dignity, respect, the right to be treated equally, and the right not to be treated in a cruel, in, inhuman, and degrading way. So, in this case, it's just to describe uh, structural violence, what we're talking about, which is a common form of violence that generally refers to physical conditions that limit people's rights and access to services. People often experience this in the process of accessing healthcare services and other uh, essential services. So, this is just to, again, we giving you information around stigma and discrimination. But for you to be able to do more and to understand more, you have to go out there and get information about what can one do in order to end or to prevent a stigma incident. So, we spoke, I spoke a lot about the impact of, uh, of stigma and discrimination on us. And if you experience stigma at clinic level, then you are likely not to go back. Ne? Yeah. But even beyond that, if you experience stigma at clinic level, and then I tell you that I'm going to clinic X, and you were there yesterday, you experienced stigma, would you encourage me to go there? Yeah. Then Lynn, I'm going to stay in, then I've got another friend who wants to go there, and then the next thing there is 10 of us, we are not going to access services because as far as we are concerned, that clinic is not friendly to us. That one? So to be able to address stigma, and I'll speak about some of the actions that we can take to address stigma uh, at community level, individually also. So, again, I've already touched on this, talking about human rights, uh, why are human rights important? Um, it's simple. Discrimination harms people. A person who is discriminated against gets affected emotionally, mentally, in some cases it becomes physical. So it harms people uh, uh, that way. Discrimination is a human rights violation, I've already spoken about that, and it also uh, mm -hmm. it negatively impacts on people's access to services. Again, where there is discrimination, people are likely not to go and access services.